Coach, welcome to Florida. Yeah, I know you know the way down here with Stephen Garcia. Well, yeah, I've been in here recruiting lately too. So, uh, yeah, yeah, Tampa, of course, is where I've got my first head coaching job with Tampa Bay Bandits uh, just 25 years ago. So it's uh, it's neat to be back here. Coach, you were yeah. really the first to be really innovative on offense. Did you ever think it was going to get to this point where it's almost like a video game on offense? Well, the, the team speed is so much greater than uh, you know 30 years ago and so forth that. Uh, it has really uh, evolved into a pass run game. And some teams do a lot better than others. Uh, we're sort of struggling a little bit on offense uh, where we are right now, but uh, hopefully Stephen Garcia and some of our guys will really be ready to play on the first. But uh, yeah, it's a different, a little different game than uh, 25, 30 years ago. The coach, have you had a chance to look at Iowa at all in the film? Yes, yes, I've watched Iowa. Uh, hadn't watched much of their offense, but I know that Sean Green is, uh, I think, the second leading rusher in the nation. So uh, we've got to get a bunch of guys up to slow him down. And their defense, which I've been watching, is a very sound, fundamentally, uh, don't make hardly any mistakes, very few mistakes, and uh, big, tough guys up front. So we got to try to move around, try to hit a few balls here and there, run a few, and, uh, and get ready to play. Who do they remind you of in the SEC that you play? Anybody? Who do they remind us of? Oh, gosh, that, that would be hard to say. Best run, running rushing team in the SEC this year, beside Florida. But Florida does it out of the shotgun. Uh, they're a little bit more than traditional uh, formation. LSU so maybe. Well, they do have a uh, yeah. Their running back Scott was maybe similar in size to uh, the Green. Coach, you've been involved in some great rivalries: Florida, Florida State. How big is Clemson, South Carolina? Well, it's a big one. It's the biggest. Yeah. In-state rivalry, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, FSU. Uh, ours, we were in different conferences. Uh, so that's why when some people ask me, I still say Alabama, Auburn. Because <laughs> they're in the same, sometimes if they're playing for the division and possibly the SEC, uh, whereas when, the, when your rival's in another conference, you concentrate on the conference games, then that weakens it, you know. So, uh, but yeah, it's a big, it's a big rival game, and unfortunately, they beat us more. We beat them. Coach, what's been your biggest high this year and your lowest low? Our best win was probably Ole Miss. Uh, we went to Ole Miss and beat them right after they beat Florida, so we caught them at the right time. Uh, but they're a good team. I mean, they can run it, throw it, and good defensive players, well-coached team. So that was probably that was probably the highlight of the year right there. Coach, Florida is one of the few schools in high school that has 20 days of spring football still. How important is it for you to get into Florida? Well, we get into Florida. Yeah, we, we get into Florida a lot. Uh, our surrounding states are, are what we try to recruit, North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, uh, a little bit in Alabama, and of course try to do a good job in our state. So, uh, high school football is very good in South Carolina, just not quite as many players as are in Florida, Georgia, and so forth. Coach, everybody's talking about the BCS bowl game should go to playoff. Where do you stand on that? Do you want a playoff or do you think everything's fine? Yeah, I see both sides of it. You know, I, I used to always say we did playoff, but if you did have a playoff, it would uh, undermine the regular season games. Uh, it wouldn't be near as important uh, as they are now. So the late season games are, are like a playoff. They really are. You know, the Alabama Florida game, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State game. So forth, because then the winner, you know, advances on. So uh, you know, it causes a, a, a lot of uh, attention. You know, we get a lot of publicity and interest in this BCS. Uh, but you know, I, I used to always say, if every sport has a playoff, why well, doesn't Division One college football? We can't be right and everybody else wrong. <laughs> but there, there are a lot of advantages for the bowl trips and all that. So. I'm sort of 50 50 on it now. So, Coach, when you talk about college football and Division One, every game does count, though. Every game counts. Yeah, every game counts. And uh, especially those teams that are trying to play for all the marbles at the end of the year. Appreciate it. All right, coach. my man. Thank you for your Thank time. You,